What's good, YouTube? Your boy Trey Five Seven Productions. Get with it or get left behind. And right now, we're gonna speak on the extraterrestrial topic. Got me some coffee here. Um, I forget what flavor it is, but it's good. As long as you got your creamer, you good to go. But we're gonna speak on the extraterrestrial topic because it seems like a lot of people still ain't, it seems like they're still not comprehending what I'm saying. Um, there's a lot of people that do understand what I'm saying. Um, so let's just get into it. When I told y'all that extraterrestrials been here, y'all, they've been here since the beginning of time. Everything that you own in your house was machined. Whether it was from a sewing machine, the soja curtains, y'all, that is a machine. It was machined. The products that it did it made, it was machined. Your weapons, your gun. You thought man made the first gun? Who gave us the technology to make the guns, to make the molds? I keep telling y'all, what in the beginning, if we was just running around with rags around us or 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 whatever we use to cover our bodies with, you can't make nothing. You got no tools to make nothing. You understand? You got no tools to make nothing. So don't be ignorant like you don't catch on or you don't, some don't want to know. Now that much I do understand. If you're afraid of the truth, it's cool. But the truth hurts. And people do know that extraterrestrials are real. Some just don't want to hear about it. Now understand that. That's when I say tune out. But what y'all don't understand is, is it's about to get ugly with them. Now, they walk around looking like us. That's why y'all can't see them. You looking at what they posting on a documentary like uh, Ancient Aliens, which I've watched that documentary before as well, and there's many episodes of that. But people are looking at the images of extraterrestrials that they put up. But you fail to realize there are different species of aliens out there, okay? We are extraterrestrial. I've said that before, too. We some form of extraterrestrial. We extraterrestrial to them. But they have the technology to do all the things that we are doing and are trying to do. Everything that we own, that we put our name on. See, I told y'all in the beginning, they've been working together for years, in exchange technology, so in exchange for technology, we give them some things. So we got some people with this empowered that can say, hey, they came up missing. That's why you see all these little kids on milk cartons. Back in the day, they was like missing, missing, missing. And I know some of y'all say, well, this is a kidnapping ring going on. Yeah, that too, but it was bigger than just that. In exchange for some things, we're going to give y'all some technology. Coming down breeding with humans. They've been doing that for years. Told y'all about y'all, uh, y'all, uh, what you call it? You, your, uh, magicians that do magic. That ain't magic. That's extraterrestrial. And I ain't talking about people that learn their trick. You learn how to take the card off the bottom and then make the card. No, I ain't talking about, I'm talking about when you do bodily harm and you stick things in your body and there's no blood and you swallowing goldfish. And then you go like that and the goldfish is in your hand. No, that's not demonic. I can hear people right now, oh, that's demonic. Got it? No, that's not. It ain't got nothing to do with demonic. Uh, with the sorcery and all of that. That was all. Them names was given to it, was given by the system. Sorcery, witchcraft. Call all of that whatever you want to call it. But let me get back into the, because uh, I'm all over the place. I told you I'm a Sagittarius. I'm all over. But we're going to stay on the extraterrestrial because this needs to be said. These things look like us. Um, you'll never, you will never. Now, maybe every once in a while, you would catch one uh, where they got to hurry, hurry up and get away from you. See, one a lot of them wear sunglasses and they wear them sunglasses because every so often their eyes shift. Then they get that cat eye, that reptile eye. 
and you ain't supposed to see that. But not all of them have the reptilian eyes, all right? The, the government got to expose extraterrestrials, tell the world that, no, they don't got to tell you nothing. You don't need them to tell you that they real, they've been here. They real, y'all. I told y'all, your TV screen, your TV, that's theirs. We didn't make that. We on a planet with rocks and bricks and water and sticks. Make a TV. Make the machine that made the TV. Come on. Fiber optics, computer boards, memory, flash drives. That's all their technology. Now, we might have some in secret locations and trying to figure out how to operate their technology, but it's always another one knowing that we do have that technology and we trying to make that technology work. They was making movies back in the day, y'all. Back in the day, they was making, they made The Abyss. They made uh, War of the Worlds. Your Star Treks, your Star Treks. Man, they was trying to tell y'all a long time ago. Check this out. So before the cell phone came out, we can go back into the 80s. Wasn't no cell phones back in the early 80s, 79. Wasn't no cell phone. But Star Trek was out back then with Captain Kirk, uh, uh, William Shatner. That was the captain of uh, the Enterprise. He would pull out this little device and flip it. It was a flip phone. And he would say, Kirk, out. Close it back. He didn't have to make a long conversation. They was trying to tell you then. Just so... They ain't got to say, one day we told you so. They was telling y'all in the movies. They was telling y'all in the movies, and then in these movies, they showing y'all these alien invasions. The invasion already happened. Too late. We late to that party. The invasion been happened. Been happened. These people in your offices, man, running y'all uh, running y'all courts, even running your courtrooms. Man, them was extraterrestrials. They ain't got no heart. They don't got no emotion. They could care less. Somebody say, why did the judge give me that time? That was a judge, but that wasn't who you thought he was. We got feelings, y'all. Some of us got feelings. They don't have feelings. They don't have a heart. That's why they in the position that they in. That's why they in the position that they in, and then y'all be going out, jacking off these cops, getting smart with them, not realizing you messing with something that ain't even, that can care less about you. Boop, boop, boop. You didn't got beat down. You didn't got your leg broke. They done sat on your neck. Come on, man. Don't be taunting these aliens. Stop playing. For real, stop playing. What does he mean? They can't be real. Y'all, I told y'all. Well, your body don't run off of batteries. Your heart been beating since you was a baby. Since you was in the womb, it had a heartbeat. And then you beating, you live till you 90. You 100 years old, your heart's still beating. Y'all still don't believe there's extraterrestrial beings? We got jets that can lift up, take off from midair, and just go. Aerial maneuvers, and why is everything shaped like a pyramid? Then you got the pyramids. Who built the pyramids? Y'all notice all y'all fighter jets got wings like birds. They fly. What you think the bird is? You think that's just some cute bird in a, in a museum? Not a museum, but in a zoo that you're going to go see? You think it's just a zoo. They going, you, you're going to go enjoy a day at the zoo. By all means, enjoy your worldly gifts and things. But understand that birds are, they're, they are part of the, the extraterrestrial uh, operation. You notice the eagle, the eagle. It's illegal to kill an eagle. You ain't allowed to kill a hawk either. You see the white neck? Y'all notice they put that eagle on our quarters. When 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 was y'all going to say, wow, I wonder why the eagle was on a quarter? Why is it? Then they got eagle eye. They made the movie The Eagle Eye. I'm sorry, once again, I'm all over the place, but y'all giving little signs. Little signs so they can say, you can't say, we, we didn't tell you. They've been telling you. Little subliminal messages been popping up, and y'all just look over like that ain't nothing. I'm sitting here one day and my tablet start talking. I, my ta I wasn't even on it. Letting me know, hey, yeah, we here and we listening in. And I told y'all, remember the old TVs we had? The, the, we call them the boob tubes, the picture tube. 
Got the little fuses in the back. Don't ever open one of them up. I told y'all what happened with me back in the day when I opened up my TV. And I don't even know why I did it. I opened up the back of the TV playing the video game and I got this zap in my life. My hand stuck to it. Don't even know how my hand got I should be dead. I, I'm just being honest. Uh, I, I never forget that feeling. But the boob too. So you got that TV. It's a reason why they rushed that TV out of production. Not because we advanced with technology, we want the better thing. The, the technology that we got is new, is old. It's new to you. It's exciting to you. You've never seen it before, but they've been at it. Like I told y'all, the cell phone was out back, back in the day when they said, hey, we're going to let y'all put your name on this and y'all going to uh, say you invented the telephone. You invented this. You invented the light bulb. But in exchange for that, you got to give us some people. Once again, people go missing all the time. After so long, it's like, okay, search over. Searching for the, the search was a game. They knew the search was just to make it look good. They know where that person and them people were taken to. We'll never see them again. So that TV that y'all watching in y'all living room, that big flat screen, they watching you through that TV. Well, I turned it off. They watching you through that TV. There's a movie out called Deja Vu with Denzel Washington. They was trying to tell you then. So Denzel and them is watching this girl move around in her or her uh, apartment, getting dressed, changing, and doing housely things. And he looking like we we is we seeing this right now. Well, technically we're seeing it now but it already happened you know and that's time travel back in time that's another thing that shit exists as well but we ain't gonna talk about that right now so they watching this girl do her thing in her house on the screen somebody is watching you they rushed him out you, it, it, and they putting everybody is buying them they making them cheap thousand dollars seventy dollars a hundred dollars now they got access to your living room. Your smartphones, now they could have left us with the old raggedy, raggedy phones that wasn't smart. Now these smart ones, when they off, they in your pocket, got a battery in it. It's listening in to your conversation. That's why when you go on your YouTube search or your internet searches and it pop up just exactly what you, how many of y'all have ever turned on your device and, <coughs> excuse me, Everything, if, how many of y'all have ever turned your device on and it, and the search comes up exactly what you was just saying? It, there has been times where I didn't even say one word and it said what I was thinking. Man, he crazy. No, let me tell y'all something. The cell phone, where is it at? The cell phone, cell, cells in your body, cell phone. You put your hands on it, your thumbprint. Your finger, your body, y'all, is reading all of that. It's just a phone to you, but it's big business for them. It's a tracking device. Go ahead and do something. They don't know where you at. As long as that phone is in your name, they tracking you. They know where you at. I'm going to turn the location off. You can, you turn off your location, but the, the internal location is on that phone. Y'all still don't believe in extraterrestrials. They, I had a video, if they took it down, it's cool, uh, about all these objects moving in the sky, and I don't know how fast they was going, uh, but they looked like little, little lights, but they called them a satellite train, it was about 30 of them, a satellite train, so you telling me people caught this in the sky, you had to hurry up and let the media put out false so people could be derailed from what really what they really seen. See, one the worst thing y'all could ever do. And back in the day, I thought the news was cool. My grandmother be watching the news. I turn on all oh, the news is cool. They didn't know the news ain't cool. The news ain't nothing but liars. We should have known that when they said that the boy shot uh, Marcus in the leg, and Marcus didn't even pull the trigger. He was just standing there, and a shot went off, and then Marcus fell. Then a dude, come on, man, they be like the media tell lies to your vision. That's what television stands for, tell lies to your vision. Not television, 
tell lies to your vision. It's real sad when um, y'all don't believe nothing until TV tells y'all. So y'all program to react and to understand something only if the media puts it out there. Who do you think those people are to be getting on or doing all that talking? Just like when they had the uh, the hurricanes. All through for years, I used to watch the hurricane coverage on the news, and me and my grandmother sitting in the living room, and I'm just laughing. But I never said nothing. I kept it to myself. But I'm laughing like, "Wow, you mean to tell me this hurricane is knocking trees down, blowing stop signs out the way? But this man is standing here still recording the news. Why ain't he just get blown clear across the?" What? Again, y'all still don't believe the extraterrestrials are real. How does a man stand his feet planted and the trees is blowing, water just coming and he ain't running, he ain't moving, his body, only thing moving is his hair. Okay? You dig? Next time somebody want to talk to you, tell them to take off the sunglasses. Yeah, we can have a we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Everybody got on these sunglasses. Everybody that got on these sunglasses ain't who you think they is. Enjoy your life. Do what you've been doing. Just know extraterrestrial beings are here. They've been here. All right. Uh, and then, no, it's not the government flying uh, alien tech trying to figure it out over to know you really seen one of them. And the, the crash, the crash that was in one of them deserts with extraterrestrial, and we know they didn't accidentally crash there. They didn't get shot down. If they crashed, y'all, they crashed intentionally. To this day, y'all haven't seen, well, I had one on camera. But it erased my camera. I told y'all that story. Oh, that's a true story. They deleted my chip. I wasn't supposed to show nobody that. They made sure I wasn't showing nobody else. Crazy part is the people I was telling didn't even believe it. They was looking at the picture for their own self. They couldn't believe it. Like, no, nah, no. Nah, did you? Well, you couldn't have faked it. There's no way you could fake this kind of film. But it's still not real. Once again, you don't want to believe it. They done already got you so conditioned that they don't exist. You'll never know that they exist. Just know that every time you, um, you look, so once again, I keep telling y'all I'm all over the place. In the video game, Grand Theft Auto, GTA, they got this 5G tower off in the desert, like 30 of them, when you're driving around through the game, right? But the towers weren't out yet. But they was in the game. They was in the game. And in, in these games, they always got the Alien Edition, it's an alien in the game somewhere, a ship done crash, and it was just part of the one of the um the the storylines in the game. Like what? They trying their best to tell y'all. All right? Everybody ain't gonna let it sink in, but they've been trying to tell y'all for a minute. And people say, well, okay, if, if they hear, they ain't hear, they ain't what's the big deal? Oh, it is a big deal. It is a big deal that they should come out and tell us. That, no, I'm when I say balls out, come out and tell you, hey, look, that's one, that's one, that's one. They work with us, y'all get used to it. But once again, I told y'all before, if they tell y'all the extraterrestrials exist, what's gonna happen? They have to, they have to re hit the reset button because now y'all gonna be like, well, who the hell is God? And if I said that and somebody out there getting offended, I mean, tune in or tune out. I'm not apologizing. Once again, if they come out and tell y'all the extraterrestrials do exist, now they got to figure out and tell you who God really is. And if there is one. And then if there is one, how many are there? They done told you in school, there's so many planets, right? What is the galaxy doing with all these planets, but it's only life on this one right here? And then since you say that, where's your proof that we're the only ones living? You ain't been to Mars. You ain't been to Venus. All these planets y'all gave names to, you haven't even been to them. But you're telling people that there ain't nobody there. Telling us through all years of school and science class, this is a planet here. How you know ain't nobody on the sun? What if, it's, what, what if they was fire beings that, could, that was in the form of flames? 
right? Well, we can't breathe. That's because we're supposed to be down here on what they call Earth. But there are, so there ain't no air in space. Okay, so on every planet, they got to leave out of their atmosphere if they even got one. And then they in space and then they can't breathe because they in that space where there is. So once again, for y'all to sit and believe that who is the, here, here's the kicker. Who told y'all that aliens don't exist and we are the only ones that reside on a planet? That's your, that, when you figure that out, then you'll know who the aliens are and then who they, they bullshitted y'all from the beginning told y'all they was working together in exchange for information and technology y'all got to give us something y'all people y'all kids it's always a disappearance a missing coming up then they got to come up with a, a serial killer that did it but they ain't caught the killer all this technology they got they can't find a lost man at sea in a boat they can't find a man that wandered off in the woods when they got satellites they got video recording and Technology to zoom down on your house on Google Maps. You mean to tell me you ain't you can't rewind that back and see where that person went in his last location? That's because they're not going to. They know where that person went and where that person is at. I'm done talking. I love y'all. Stay blessed. It's real. Stay real.